Welcome back guys. You may notice something a little bit different and that's because uh, I don't have a mustache anymore. Um, but that's for a good cause. I'm Doom Movember as well as uh, other WG crew members. Uh, so what we do is uh, we shave our uh, beards, uh, beards and mustaches at the start of the month and then we grow it all month long. Uh, if you want to donate you can find us, uh, just search Worldwide Gaming on the Movember website or you can just go to our Facebook page and we'll make sure that we link it in there somewhere. Uh, but right now we have our top 10 and uh, when we go to expos like PAX or like E3, uh, we see a lot of different, crazy, interesting, weird things and we like to compile them all into one list to show you guys what it's like to actually be here. So here's our top 10 things that we've seen at PAX Australia. To start off our list, we have Screen Cheat at number 10. We interviewed the game's creators at Melbourne Game Jam a few months ago and it was awesome to see how far their prototype had come. We constantly found ourselves wanting to come back to this booth and that's why we think it deserves a spot on this list. And number 9 is Battlecry. This free to play game by Bethesda was the biggest single game booth on the floor. The live commentary and sizable screen made this stall stand out. At number 8 we have the Cards Against Humanity stall. This was a great surprise to see at the expo. The creators launching the Australian edition and doing signings. At number 7, it's the Xbox Indie area. These games, while not all Xbox exclusive, gave attendees an opportunity to play the great upcoming indie titles. At number 6, we have the Nintendo area. This section showed off Nintendo's upcoming games, such as Super Smash Bros. and Splatoon, as well as giving attendees a look at the new 3DS. At number 5, it's the Ubisoft booth. One of the biggest names at the show, Ubisoft showed off their newest games, including Far Cry 4, Assassin's Creed Unity and The Crew. There were many great cosplays around the show and were certainly a highlight of the expo. Here are just a few of the ones we saw. In at number 3, it's the console free play area. With a bunch of consoles set up, attendees were given the chance to calm down and play some games, new and old. At number 2, we have the League of Legends booth. The sea of fans around the stage were enough to prove that LOL is no laughing matter. Ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> And at number one, it's the Indie Pavilion. With games like Screen Cheat, Duet, Framed and many more, this section of the expo was home to a massive amount of people wanting to see what the Australian indie scene has to offer. So I'm here at PAX Australia 2014 in Melbourne here with Iwi. Uh, we're at Rock Hat, uh, you're the marketing manager for Australia and um, uh, Asia. Asia. Yeah. Yep. Um, we're here to see uh, one of your new mice that you've launched, uh, you launched about a month ago, uh, really? a couple of yeah. weeks. Yeah, you have sure. a tie on. Um, can you give us a brief overview yeah, of sure. the mouse? Uh, our latest mouse is called Tyon. It comes with uh, 16 buttons. Yep. And also it comes with analog joystick on the side. It's a two-way joystick, a pedal. We call it accelerator. Yep. And it's mainly um, 
focusing on um, Battlefield 4 or War Thunder or World of Tank, such yep. kind of uh, games, yep. since uh, you can handle with the pedal easier the plane or the tank. Awesome. Um, one thing that strikes me about the mouse is that it's taken a lot of features that you would normally do on a keyboard um, and bringing it to the mouse for like for easier. So, uh, like you said, this um, this analog uh, uh, stick here is yeah. uh, it's trying to. It's, so instead of just using like the digital pads on a, on a keyboard, you're saying like instead of going just zero or 100 percent, this one actually allows you to like you know kind of do fine adjustments and stuff like that's, that. That's true. Yep. Yes. So the joystick uh, on the mouse, the accelerator, we can, as you said, we can uh, have it a 30 percent or 50% acceleration, or speed up, speed down, for example. Awesome. Um, what other features are on this mouse? There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of buttons on here, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, uh, it comes with 16 buttons, as I said. Yep. So on the top, we have a, a special, a very unique function or unique button. It's called a torso fin. Yep. It's a two-way button. So it uh, comes up, uh, goes with like this or like that. Yeah, so it's meant for like the, uh, the insides kind right. of. You put yeah. it, the button in between and it accelerate it or use it like this. Yeah. yeah. Um, and also you have uh, the software running here. What can you do with uh, the software with the mouse? Uh, the software uh, can be downloaded from our website. Yep. And it's very useful. So, so the mouse or your rocket mouse comes with a function that it's called Easy Shift. So the Easy Shift function, what it does is uh, it double you the functions uh, of the button. Yeah. So once you download it, you can do all the settings what you want, or how you want it for your game you prefer, for example, or yeah. even for Windows functions or uh, Windows software. And yeah, it gives you up to 32 keys uh, on the mouse, like using the shift function. Yeah. yeah, it comes with 16, so double it to 32. Awesome. Uh, and you can also change the lights on this, can't you? Yes. So through our driver, you can use easily change the color what you want. It comes up to 16.8 million colors. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, thank you very much for speaking yeah. with us. Thank you. Thank you. If you want to win a tie on mouse for yourself, we have two to give away. Check out our Facebook page for details.